Good day, students. You're welcome to today's lesson on ICT. My name is Ajibali Banke, and I'll be your instructor for today's topic. I'll be taking you on ICT-based gadgets today. Now let's move on into today's learning objectives. There are three learning objectives for today's topic. First, you must be able to define ICT-based gadgets after the lesson. Secondly, you should be able to identify some of these devices. And lastly, you must be able to state the functions of these ICT-based devices. Let's start today's lesson with an introduction into our topic. ICT is an acronym that stands for Information Communication Technology. ICT refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications. Gadgets can be defined as electronic devices that perform a particular function. Now, merging the definitions of these two keywords, we can state that an ICT-based gadget is any device that allows us to communicate with each other in the digital world. This could happen either via internet-connected devices or mobile devices supported by wireless technology. We have ICT devices all around us. They are in our homes, schools, and workplaces. At the end of this lesson, we'll be able to identify the ICT gadgets you have around you. Moving on from introduction, we shall highlight the common ICT gadgets we have around us. First on the list is the mobile phone. A mobile phone is a communication device that allows us to transmit sound from one location to the other. This is done through phone calls. With the advent of smartphones, we can now transmit modern sounds. Most smartphones these days can transmit audiovisual files, send texts, images, documents, and even emails. The mobile phone is very convenient to use and does not cause any strain or stress on the user because they are very portable devices. Our second ICT based device for today is the fax machine. Fax machines can transmit scanned documents, which include text and images, through telephone lines. They make communication easier as information can be exchanged between multiple parties within a short time. The fax machine is hardly found in the home. Instead, it is used by business organizations that need to transmit information from one end to the other within a short time during the business hours. The third device for today is the computer. A computer is an electronic device used for processing, storing, and displaying information on a larger capacity than phones. You are probably viewing this video right now on your computer. With computers, we can send and receive information from multiple people at the same time, with the process only taking seconds. With a computer, you can connect to the internet and use your browser to check real-time information from anywhere across the globe. The fourth device for today is the television. A television is a device that is present in almost every home, and it can be defined as a telecommunication device that transmits images, either fixed or moving, and sounds using electrical signals from a source to a receiver. The information transmitted can either be real-time audiovisuals or recorded programs. An example of a real-time audiovisual is a live football match or the daily news, while the recorded program can either be a movie or a music video. The aforementioned ICT gadgets perform a series of functions. One of these functions is that they make communication easier. Before the arrival of ICT gadgets such as phones and computers, communication was quite stressful between two distant parties. This is because they would need to write a letter. And this letter might take weeks or months to even arrive at the intended location. But with gadgets such as a mobile phone, one can easily make a phone call or send a text message that arrives at the intended destination within seconds. Another function of these gadgets is that they improve the business efficiency. Organizations can communicate with their clients in distant locations through ICT gadgets by sending emails or even making phone calls and they get feedbacks in real time. Large organizations can communicate internally from department to department through emails sent on computers, which makes the flow of communication and the flow of business easier. Another function of ICT gadgets is that they speed up day-to-day -day activities. With, a, with an ICT gadget such as a vending machine, one can easily purchase snacks or drinks without having to go into a store and join a queue to pay for it. With a vending machine, you can insert your ATM card, punch in 
a series of instructions and get your drink or snack within a few seconds. To summarize today's lesson, we'll start by giving a brief definition of ICT-based gadgets. ICT-based gadgets are electronic devices that transmit information from a source to a receiver. These various ICT devices are used in our homes and offices and they include computers, mobile phones, televisions, etc. The function of ICT gadgets are, but not limited to, simplifying the communication process, increasing business efficiency, and ensuring that daily activities are conducted faster. This brings us to the end of today's lesson and I will give you a short assignment. Question 1. Identify two ICT-based gadgets. Question 2. List one function that each of these devices performs. And question 3. In what way has this gadget made life easier?